All right, so this is this is going to be a continuation of the Fibonacci series. And in this section, I'm going to show you a very simple trick. You can use a combination of the two fib tools I talked about. So the two fib tools that we are going to use will be the trend based fib extension and then the fib speed resistance fan. You can actually use one, but I prefer to use two because it's, it's just the style i like the style because it makes more sense in my head but you can actually use one but i'll show you you will decide whether you want to use the two or one right so let's get right into it so i, I already explained in the previous videos that for you to use the fibonacci um, speed resistance fund you're looking for a head and shoulders pattern right so you want to see this pattern like that and you see the pattern like that you draw your fund from the beginning of the move and you want to cover this side here um i need to change this up a little bit uh, i think i'm using the wrong template All right, so you are using this, you go from here and this is your decision line. And when price breaks this level here, like there are different decision lines that I use based on the video I explained, but this is the decision line and you take yourself from here to here, right? So I've already explained this. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the speed resistance fund and then the train based fib extension together so you can use it on a head and shoulders pattern like i explained and you can also use it on a double top but this kind of double top is unique you are looking for a double top where the next high is lower in this case so you are looking for a lower high and if the market is in a downtrend you are looking for this type of double top where you have a higher low right so what you are basically looking for is to now draw your fund from here so where the move is starting from so let's say this move started from here what you are looking for is to draw your fund from here to here and this is your tp at this point here right but this case, what you're going to do is you use the fib expansion. So you go from A, B, C, and your TP, you take an LE TP here in this case. I right. hope, I think this would make more sense when I start showing it on the chart. So you go from, so let's say the trend is starting somewhere here. Your entry is at the breakouts and your TP would be so with a fib expansion, we're going for A, B, and C. So that is your TP right there. So that gives you an exact point to be looking for TP instead of like, this would be a good guide for you, but this gives you an exact level to be looking at TP, right? So I'm going to switch up the templates to a different template, which is more simplified. Why is this? Hiding. I think I need to change this up a little bit. So in this case, what I'm going to look is uh, 0 0.114. That would be my entry zone and i'm going to take everything off right so let's get into it so currently i have you steady on the chart and what i'm looking for is this is the pattern i'm looking for i want price to give me a low 
and another low like this but in this next low here would be higher so what i would do in this case is to draw my fan from here going from here and my focus is here the lowest point of this level here so this is my entry after the breakout you you might or might not wait for a rate test so you get in at this point here so where is my tp going to be so my tp is going to be with a fib expansion so i've already explained the fib expansion if you've not uh, a fib extension train base uh, this is the right train base fib extension sorry about that what i'm going to do here is now go from a a to b to c and my tp1 is a 1.129 you can also take tp1 at 127 today i'm showing my levels today is my birthday so i would show so many things like i said after this i'm about to just record a video where i'll show you all the the various concepts that i trade right so if you watch this video and it's not today and it's another day go look for that video because there will be more concepts in there right so what i look for is now use my expansion i go from a to b to c and that's tp1 so here what i'm going to do is after the breakout here you take your trade stop losses below here trade here Stop losses below here and you go for tp here so you can go for tp here or just go for one is to three ratio reward ratio right you can go for tp here or just go for one is to three ratio reward ratio so the same pattern is here so this is what you are looking for you have your low and another low here that is higher than this so what you do is to use your fun from here go from here to here and break and rate test that's your entry and how do you get your tp you go with a this is the highest point b and c so your entry is here and your tp is here so in this case what you do is go from here stop loss below the low and TP at a TP one of the expansion, and this is a 4.79 ratio reward ratio. Right? Let's go into the pass. So, you this is a double top, but you want a lower level. Um, there are other variations of this, but we are going to keep it simple. So, I think this is valid, right? This is valid, this is lower than that so we are we'll go into the charts and look for some examples of something that is live that we can take a trade and then after that you watch the video you can monitor that trade and see how it does so we go from here to that level and a break of rate test that's our entry how do we get our tp we go from a to b to C and that is TP1. This one we actually got TP3, but always take your TP1. So here, in this case on US30, that is your entry. Stop loss is above the high, and TP is right here. So that is 2.26 ratio reward ratio, right? So that was straightforward. You have another one here. Right? You have that pattern so you go for this all right so this one is <laughs> your entry is right there and your tp would be one two three so this is your tp so this trade is right there yeah at the break yeah Stop right above there, and that is your TP. But if I'm if I, you're actually using the expansion, so this is a one is to five point five ratio. If you're using the expansion and you want to be a little conservative, 
you can bring your entry here but this is the right entry with what we're explaining now and um so let's go to the chart let's randomly look for something that is yet to happen let's scan through let's look at my current price and look for okay so this is a a valid trade right so one thing about this is it's very good when the trend is you know the trend is already reversed or you are trading in the direction of the trend right so here for instance right we know price is in an uptrend so we know we are not going to catch any form of retracement so if price is in an uptrend buying here makes a lot of sense because we already have an uptrend established and then we have this so in this case what we do is we go from here to here and that's our entry and our tp would be with a uh, extension one two and three so entry is right there and tp is here so if you are confused go watch the two videos on the, the speed resistance fund you don't even yes you need to watch them especially with the levels but this is 1.2, 1.129, right? So you can watch the video and get more insight. So this is actually a valid trade. Um, it's a valid trade, but the, the one thing that is uh, tricky with this is that because we are in an uptrend, like this is still, you are currently still trading against the trend. So this is risky. You had something similar here where price hits the TP. So if you, you would have gone for this, um, where would the trade start from so if, if you had gone for this looking at this level here this is your your high and this is your lower high you're going for here to that level here so that is your entry and your tp is one two three so price hits the tp and reversed but it's still a very risky trade even though you will still be getting a good risk reward ratio here. So here, if your entry is at a break, so that's somewhere here, and your stop is above here, and your TP is here, that's one is to two risk reward ratio, right? It's not really great. So you want to mostly you want to avoid this kind of pushes like this. But this is still valid. If you still want to go for this, that's okay. You have your high. You have your lower high what you do here on a us uh the excess mp500 right now is to do this we have the break so you are good to sell smp500 now but the trade might be a little tricky just because we are trading against the trend right but all things being equal you have a b and c and that is tp so you see it's actually a very small trade like in terms of rr this will still give you a one is to two ratio ratio right about there about your stop is right above here and your tp is here that's 1.6 ratio ratio so not really that great and mostly this happens when you're trading against the trend like that so let's go on let's look for more examples all right so i think this is a very good one why is this a good one because we're in an uptrend where the market is in an uptrend and it has given us a nice double bottom here where we have a, a, a higher low right so what we do is go from a sorry we draw our speed resistance from from here to here and that's a perfect break and retest so this is actually looking good. I'm going to I'm going to buy this right now. I'm going to buy this right now. It looks like super good. It looks super super good. It looks super good. So what I'll do here is to go from A to B to C and entry right there. Um, this is entry stop losses right here and that is tp so that's a cool 2.33 ratio ratio right 
this trade has the potential to deliver more we can actually get all the way to tp3 but we just keep it simple always go for tp1 and your trade is always secured for you right so i'm going to trade this now this is hk in this system this is All right, so I'm in this trade. TP is 18, 18, 6, 8, 5. 18, 6, 8, 5. 18,685. Oh, that's actually very far away. Wow, is that really that far away? Yeah. Yeah, so that is it. Um, let's look for more examples. So these are current markets, so you can actually get some good trades from here when you see this. So, this is a German Telly. So this is the kind of scenario where you could have gotten a sell opportunity from here. So here on the bigger structure, I have a, a swing trade to the downside for a sell. And this is a, a retest of an entry here. So what we are basically, and this is, this is TP1 using the bigger expansion, right? So I'm doing something different here. But what we are looking at this, what we are looking at here is just to, I don't want to delete everything I have here, but you can see the double top here. So what you do here is to go from there to there, and that's your breakout. So that's your entry and that's your stop loss. And you're going for TP1 with the expansion. So one, two, and three. So TP1 was right there. Entries here, so this is about one is to two risk to reward ratio, and you can do this on a bigger scale. So here, what we are doing now, we are on the two-hour time frame. You can do this on a daily time frame, establish a bias, and then based on this, you can now know where the market is going long term, and you can use it to plan your trade. So let's look at in a scenario where you can find an opportunity like this and then trade in that direction for a long time. So you are using this as a way to establish your trading bias, right? So let's look for a scenario like this. I think let's, let's go on. Let's look for something that with a current price so that we can actually it's something that we can actually use to establish current buyer so this is a very good one on um gbp nzd on the daily time frame gbp nzd on the daily time frame but this already uh, this this one did not hit the take profit let let's go on so this is gbp chf so this is actually really good this is really good. So let's go on and analyze this. Let's go on and analyze this. So what we are looking here is we are looking for a higher low, a higher low, yes. Right, so this is what we have here. This is our low and that is our low. There's so many other things going on here. If you look at this, there's a head and shoulders pattern where you could use the way we draw the normal fund from here to here but it's also a higher low you know the the actual way of using the the fund is to look for a head and shoulders pattern or a higher low right but this we are focusing on the higher low 
and this is the break. So here, this is your entry, but because this is on a daily time frame, after the close of this, you're looking to get in around here. And with expansion, this is going to be your TP. So one, two, and three at this point here. And that's your TP. So you are getting in here, right around here. And this is on the daily time frame. So you can now use this to establish bias and you can treat it any how you want it or just hold this for, for a long time. And this is one is to five rich reward ratio in terms of pips, that's 400 pips. All right, so this is very good. Um, if you're looking at GBPCHF right now, we actually on a daily time frame we have a head and shoulders pattern but what you can also see from here is this and we already broke in some structure here we broke in some structure here but this is tricky trend reversals in general with this is tricky the reason why it's, it's tricky is that if you have this um head and shoulders pattern like this head and shoulders pattern is also a form of like a, it's a market maker method and it's also a way of so before you have the head and shoulders pattern it means this high here has taken liquidity from here right and when price takes liquidity from here and this push here takes out this level here this level here could serve as a, an impending liquidity for price to take so price can take out this liquidity here and then drop to the downside so that's why trading the trend reversal is a little tricky, but let's see what we get here. So here, if you want to apply what we just went through, that is your entry. And so here we've already got a breakout. You can wait for a rate test. So you can wait for a rate test of this level here or a rate test of the low. And you look to sell this. So in this case, what you are looking for is to go for a b c like that so you go for a b and c and that is your tp according to the fund right so here you're looking for a rate test because it's the trend reversal and there's a potential for a liquidity grab around this area you need to be careful you need to make sure you are getting a good like when price gets here at least on a daily time frame now wait for another daily rejection and you can sell this and this presents a very decent selling opportunity on GBP CHF and your, your stop loss is right above here. Yeah, that's one is to 2.6 risk reward ratio. And in terms of pips, that's uh, 269 pips. So that is pretty decent, pretty decent, right? So yes, in a daily time frame, this is pretty cool. You can use this to as a tool to help you establish bias on whatever instrument you are trading you can do this on a weekly time frame and that will give you a potential long-term direction of where the market is going to so i'm just quickly scanning through the market to see if i'll find any interesting opportunity and you you get it on the lower time frame it's easier to find them i'm currently on the daily time frame talking about how you can use this as a way to establish bias right so Yes, so this is this is something here. You could have used this one here. Draw your level from here to here. TP uh, entry is around here. Let me just do it. <laughs> That's your entry right there after the break and the rate test. And that will be TP. One, two, three. So entry and TP. So that was a very decent one. I think at least this is the one is two three weeks to ratio. I think entry is here. Stop loss is here. And TP is here. The one is to four point six weeks to ratio. All right. So USD card. USD card is um if you're using this, even though I'm bullish on USD card long term, if you're looking at this 
yeah, this looks like we have a potential for a long term switch to the downside. So if you draw this today, that's a break here. So that was your entry. And TP1 will be A, B, and C. So that's entry, and this is TP1. So long term USD card has the potential to drop to this direction. And that's something you can keep an eye on for a long term push on USD card. But again, this is a trend reversal, so that is tricky. That is tricky. But technically, this is a ranging market, so not really that bad. So let's quickly go through this, find more, All right? So USDCHF, this was something you could have taken here. So you go from here to there. And that is your break. So sometimes this is tricky. If you get a big candle like this, but we had some pullback here. So in this case, your entry is going to be that pullback. So your entry is here in TPC. So that's like one is to two ratio or ratio. All right, I hope this concept makes sense and uh, back test it. And um, if you have any question, come back and comment under the video and or tag me on Twitter and ask your question. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next video. So just before we go, um, UK oil looks interesting. Like you have this, you can use it on a bigger scale like this too. You can draw your level from here. So that is your entry. So you are getting in around here at the pullback. And how do you take your profit? You go from A. No, you use the extension one, two. Like I say, you can actually use one of these tools. You don't have to use all the two, but yeah, according to this long term, UK 100 has the potential to hit $98. So if you got in, this, this was the ideal entry after the pullback here. Stop loss is below the low and that is TP all the way up. And this is on the daily time frame. So if you took this, you would have had Currently, you would have been in 1 is to 1.6 fixed reward ratio and 5.8 as a long. So, at this point, you, you've broken even, you have a rich free trade to so let it run. US is uh, so I'm looking at the buy. This is the different analysis, but if you are seeing this, you can keep this in mind. I'm looking at the buy on USD ZA. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm looking at the buy here, but it looks like there is some liquidity sitting in this zone here, right? But if you're looking at it, this is like, this is a very classic um, liquidity grab here. So we've taken out this low here, which is a liquidity grab. And this is also liquidity that is sitting here. So price might, take out this liquidity, enter into this zone, and then take profit, All right? I'm not sure which FIB level, I'm not sure which FIB level, which retracement is this, but mostly you are looking for between anything below the 786, it's a good, uh, so you are looking at the 786, 886. They are all very good. So here, that is a 786, and that will be right inside there. 886 level so that is pretty decent but it looks like this would have like technically we might not come back because we we've kind of already taken out the liquidity already from this level here right price already took out liquidity and this so this has created a new level here right and price has taken out this liquidity here so this might 
continue pushing up and then come back and take out that level so that is tricky at this point here but i think it will make a lot of sense to this is good you can buy here but if you're buying here the only thing is if you bought here your stop loss is wider but this would give you a very like more decent stop loss right so i'm still looking at this on us is that if it drops to that level that is a very long term good trade to be looking at taking right USD and okay. I'm not I'm not sure why I'm waiting for this level. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope this concept makes sense. Uh, yeah, so something like this is a very good one. This is USD MXN. USD MXN. So here in this case, what you're looking for, you have your perfect um high here. Right. So this is your start point you draw your high from here to here breakouts you're looking at taking your trace here and that is your expansion one two three the expansion is good because it helps you to do a very good um analysis based on how the market structure is presenting itself and it also gives you the potential to base your tp on how the market is looking but the the speed resistance fund would normally not do that so that is a one is to seven one ratio ratio so like with one percent risk you pass your accounts your challenge accounts in almost one trade right let me put this here let me put a fun here So this is TP1. If I'm using the FIP fund, this would have been your TP. But the expansion acts the way the market is doing by incorporating this wick into the TP level, right? So that is why that is good um that is a, a good thing to use i don't know why i didn't save this template oh, oh. it is saved hold on okay i had a template saved i thought i didn't save it all right so yep that is it um let me know what you think about this video and um Another example here. Yeah. So this is all over the place. I mean, so much opportunity available. So this is your lower high. Going from there. No, I wouldn't really start from there because this market pushed from here. So I'll start from here. So that's your break. That's your entry. And your TP is one, two, and three. So your TP is right there. And this is a a decent risk to reward ratio. If you are getting in here, that's a very decent risk to reward ratio. If you ask me. Why? What happened here? <laughs> Why is this thing? <laughs> I don't know what I'll be here. <laughs> Ten years did it on ten. Yep, one is to two point seven. That's not bad. So that is it. Um, <laughs> I keep on, I keep on doing more examples, but I think finally I'm going to end this video here and then see you in the next video.